In this problem, we're given a table of values, and using that table of values, they want us to create an equation in our standard y equals mx plus b format. Uh, our calculator can do this for us using our stat functions in our calculator. So what we would do is step one is you would want to go ahead and hit stat, and then go over to the edit menu. And in list one, we would put the x values, and then in list two, we'd put the y values that go with them. From there, step two of the process would be to go back into the stat button, and then you would want to go over to the calculate menu, and you would want to go down and choose number four, the linear regression button. And you would just go ahead and hit enter through your process, and out of there it's going to spit out for us a y equals mx plus b format for the values that we've been given. So what that looks like is you'd pull up your calculator and in the middle there you'd see the stat button. So you go ahead and hit stat and then you want to hit enter on edit right now. And in list one we're going to put the x values we're given. So negative 39, negative 12, negative 1, and 29. And then in Y2, or in list 2, you're going to go over to the right and you're going to enter in the Y values that go with those X values. So 302, 86, negative 2, and then negative 242. And so now that we have our lists in, what you always want to do, the last thing before you move forward, is just always check that the same number of items are in both lists, that both lists end at the same place. Otherwise, the rest of the work we're about to do won't work. So our lists match up. The bottom uh, values are in the same spots on both lists. So now what we can do is go to step two. So hit the stat button again. And this time we're ready to do some calculations. So go over to the calc menu. And then we're going to go down to number four there, linear regression, AX plus B, MX plus B. We hit enter on that, and then you would hit enter through this whole menu until you get out of there. Y equals, and then A is our M or our slope, so negative 8X plus, and then negative 10 for our B. So our final answer in this situation would have been Y equals negative 8X plus, and then you would have put in that last box negative 10.